My name is Dolly. I'm 24. This is my cat, Gravy. She's 5. And this is my fiancé. Hi, I'm Zach. I'm 28. And welcome to our house in Cascade, California. This is our collection, collection of obsession, sessions. the 1950s. You might be wondering how I got into the 1950s. My earliest memory is from my grandma. When I was about 5, she would roller my hair in those little pink foam rollers, which I still do to this day. She played, you know, vintage music all throughout the house, and she taught me a lot of woman skills that I use now too, like cooking, cleaning, and sewing. I think for me it started with the music when I was young. I was raised on a lot of 1950s and early 60s music. From there it, it uh, went along to the 1950s cars. I bought a 1955 Ford Fairlane and cruised on that for a while. And then I eventually met Dolly, and it was pretty clear that we had very similar interests, and uh, things just progressed from there. Yeah, at that point, we really started getting even more into it and living it full time with our clothes, our hair and makeup styles for myself. He would grease his hair, and we'd take the old car out. And um, we actually had to sell the 1955 Ford Fairlane, but we used it for the down payment on our 1954 cottage house, which I like to show you around. This here is a vintage couch, still in perfect condition. We have um, other pieces. Basically everything in the house here is vintage. This is designer Haywood Wakefield, very, very a uh, collector now. Have a few other cool pieces like the lamps, the shadow boxes, and this atomic bar, which we do use as well. We have a record player, play some 45s, some bar accessories, and I'd like to show you to the kitchen. First is the dining area. We dine at this table. It seats two, which is perfect for us. This here is my china cabinet. I'd like to show you because it's one of my prized possessions. I have over a hundred pieces of Noritake china from Okinawa. My grandfather brought it back during the war for his mother and uh, now it was passed down to me and I try and use it as often as possible. Here, crown jewel of the kitchen, is our 1954 GE fridge. It has this great kickstand so you can open the door when your hands are full. Some other great features is that it has these lazy Susans so you can reach food in the back. It's teal with gold trim. One thing that they didn't have back then is automatic uh, anti-frost freezers so we do have to scrape this that does affect our daily life because <laughs> every time we go grocery shopping we have to shave the ice but it's a labor of love another piece that we just recently got is our O'Keefe and Merritt DeVille model and it's a deluxe stove we just replaced our new stove with this old vintage stove which works much better anyway. It has four burners, a fifth optional burner that's also a griddle. Over here, this baby is our Youngstown sink. It's actually made of steel, and it has these amazing drain boards on each side and double sinks for washing dishes because we don't have a dishwasher. This piece actually sold us on the house when I first came into the kitchen. I almost had a heart attack. These are very collectible and rare and worth a good amount of money nowadays. I'd like to show you around the rest of the house. First we'll go to the bathroom. We just remodeled it. The previous owner had redone it in 08 to look modern. We took it back to 1954 with pink toilet and sink, vintage pink walls, and a cool star pattern on the floor. And the stove is original to the house. All of the paint colors in the house are vintage colors from the Sherwin-Williams mid-century modern collection. I'll show you the bedroom briefly. This piece is the only piece of modern furniture we have in the house. It is vintage styled because they didn't have very many queen size beds in the 50s. So we had to bring this baby in, but we love it. Again, vintage color and uh, all the other pieces are vintage in here. The next room is my favorite room in the house. I call it my pink room. It's basically a girl's dream room. I get ready at this vanity every morning so I can keep uh, it quiet for the hubby. Do my hair and makeup here. It also holds some cute accessories like my bake light, all my earrings, and my vintage blue side purses. This here holds all of my vintage dresses. 
it's color coordinated and it holds a lot and down here vintage lingerie too i have one piece out for you to look at it's my favorite dress from the 1950s hawaii alfred shaheen he's my favorite designer i own about five pieces of his these are very rare and collectible but they look fabulous on every girl's dream dress in here i have a few other pieces vintage of course uh, one of my favorite things to collect as well are play suits in two and three pieces they're so cute for summer i have some shoes that uh, they wouldn't all fit in here so i brought them out so that concludes the tour of our house I'd like to thank you on behalf of Zach and I for viewing our collection obsession, the 1950s.